while we were down in the Keys during December, we found that the best place to catch lobster was around the bridge pylons. So we're going to go over some of the tips and tricks that we use to catch lobster in this area. So first off, you need to know that the current can run really fast between the bridges. It's kind of like a nozzle, you know, you got a smaller area where everything comes together and the bridge pylons and the land comes in, you got all this water either rushing in or rushing out. So it's going to be fastest around these pylons. What you want to do is hit it on slack tide because there won't be any current running. So what we would try to do is we try to get down there right as it was getting slack. And you got to be quick. Don't get there and waste all your time getting ready. You got to be able to jump in the water and just go. It doesn't stay slack for very long. To try and help us maneuver it, sometimes we would take, we would basically use the pylons as shields. We'd get behind it when the current was coming in, and basically that way it blocked off the current. And then as we moved from pylon to pylon, we'd essentially hug the ground and try and crawl our way across to the next one. We'd hop in the water, and basically we'd start at any pylon, keep track of it, and we'd start working our way down. Um, what we'd do is we'd go around it, and there'd be undercuts, and we'd just check them out. And there were some lobster, we'd tickle them out and measure them big enough, we'd keep them and move on. Just about all the pylons and even in between the pylons will have cuts from the current running through it. So we started there and each day we would work a number of pylons and then the next day we'd go back, we'd pick up on the next set of pylons and work our way down. Now Long Key's probably got, I'd say a hundred pylons, maybe more than that, three miles long. So we would work our way back and forth down there we were relying a lot on our flashlights. Sometimes the lobster will get way back there and they'll be just within range and you can tickle out some huge ones. Usually it's the big ones that'll get to the back. So with all the structure and the heavy currents, you gotta be careful because there are ledges and rocks and it could be barnacles and, and other things that could, um, could hurt you. So what we would do is, as we were working it, we would uh, go down so many pylons or, you know, for some certain amount of time and we would uh, come up because our boat, you know, was close by and they were watching out for us. And, you know, you wanna stay close to your boat because there could be other boats coming through the pond as well. So they're close by, they got a dive flag and everything. When we came up and we were ready to go back in, they would actually drive up close to the bridge and they'd toss us a ski rope and we'd grab hold and they'd pull us back from the bridge. The weather got more intense as we went along. And um, by the time we got to the last day, the wind was probably going 25 to 30 miles an hour out of the uh, east, northeast. And it was so strong that when I would try to anchor, when they would go down, they would blast me off the anchor. One particular uh, day, there were several guys fishing up on the bridge, and all of a sudden, one of them started hollering, "Bull shot! Bull shot!" I think he was saying shark. Anyhow, I'm not totally sure, but the 
the accent, you know, maybe he was saying the other full bad word, but anyway, I got my attention. I look out there and he's trying to reel a fish in and this huge shark, probably about eight or nine feet, eating this fish as he's going along. And he was trying to let us know because the diver is in the water. Well, we couldn't tell the boys because obviously they're down under the water. Um, at one point we came up and apparently there was a bull shark like right around where we were. I never saw him. Hopefully he didn't see us either. I'm sure that bull shark seen us. Thankfully he didn't mess with us, but it was a little undirty. So you know, we, we did good last day. It was fun. Got, a, got our uh, lobster in the boat. And, started heading back and it was it was windy. There were some big waves. Thankfully now we were going with the waves. But going with the waves and the wind, usually going in a boat, you know, you feel the wind as you're going fast, it's coming at you. But at the speed we were going, with the speed of the wind, it was literally like there was no wind. You didn't feel anything. So we we know the wind was kicking it because we were going at about the same speed. Windy and rough, it was a lot of fun, made it back in had a, a great day and a, a great trip down there in the Keys in December. So, hope this was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, just uh, let us know. And uh, thanks for watching the video. We'll see you all next time.